Nobody pays him attention. Prince Harry pissed as nobody clapped after his speech at EPSI Awards 2024, and also everybody looked distracted not paying attention to him. It was supposed to be Prince Harry's big moment. After years of struggling to find his place in the world post-royal life, the Duke of Sussex had finally been invited to present an award at the prestigious EPSY Awards in 2024. This was his chance to bask in the spotlight, to remind the world that he was still relevant, still had an important platform to use. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. But things did not go as planned for the disgruntled prince. As he stepped up to the podium to deliver his speech, he was met with a cold reception, an eerie silence that hung in the air, with barely a single person in the audience clapping or cheering him on. To make matters worse, as Harry droned on, many of the attendees appeared visibly distracted, glancing around the room or checking their phones, seemingly unable to feign interest in what the prince had to say. It was just so bloody awkward, recounted one attendee who was seated near the front. You could tell he was really expecting some kind of reaction, some validation, but the crowd was just dead silent. Nobody seemed to care at all. It was almost uncomfortable to watch. As the speech drew to a close, the lack of enthusiasm from the audience became even more palpable. Where polite applause would normally have erupted, there was instead an eerie quiet, save for a smattering of confused murmurs. Harry, visibly deflated, quickly retreated from the stage, his face a mask of barely concealed irritation. He looked absolutely furious, the attendee continued, like he couldn't believe nobody was paying attention to him. I almost felt bad, you know? It was just such an awkward situation all around. For Prince Harry, this was undoubtedly a humiliating experience, a stark reminder that his star power had faded, that the world had moved on without him. After making the dramatic decision to step back from royal life in 2020, he had become somewhat of a media darling, with fans and the press eagerly awaiting his next move. But as the years passed, his relevance seemed to slowly dwindle, eclipsed by newer, shinier celebrities and public figures. The EPSY Awards debacle was just the latest in a string of public setbacks for the prince. Earlier that year, he had been unceremoniously disinvited from a high-profile charity gala, with the organizers citing scheduling conflicts. Rumors swirled that the real reason was that his presence would have overshadowed the event's honorees. And in 2023, his much-hyped memoir, Spare, had failed to generate the level of buzz and sales that the publishers had anticipated, leading to reports of disappointing returns. I think Harry is really struggling to find his place in the world now that he's not a working royal anymore, observed royal commentator Emily Andrews. He's always been in the shadow of his brother, William, and I think he's finding it harder and harder to carve out his own identity and relevance. The EPSY Awards thing was just the latest blow to his ego, and I'm sure it stung. Indeed, for a man who had once basked in the adoration of millions, the cold indifference of the EPSY Awards audience must have been a bitter pill to swallow. After all, Harry had grown up in the lap of luxury accustomed to the fawning attention of the media and the public. To suddenly find himself relegated to the sidelines, his every move met with a collective shrug, must have been a humbling and frustrating experience. I think part of the problem is that Harry's whole brand and identity is so heavily tied to his royal background, said royal historian David Starkey. Now that he's stepped away from that, he's struggling to find a new niche for himself. He's not quite a celebrity, not quite a philanthropist, not quite a political activist. He's kind of just floating in this weird limbo, and I think the public is having a hard time connecting with him. And it's not just the public that appears to be disengaged from Harry's endeavors. Even within his own family, there are whispers of growing tensions and a lack of support. Rumors have circulated that his relationship with his brother, Prince William, has become increasingly strained, with the brothers allegedly feuding over the direction of their respective charitable foundations. There's definitely a sense that Harry is kind of on his own now, said a source close to the royal family. William and the rest of the Windsors have moved on, and they're not really inclined to throw their weight behind Harry's various projects and initiatives. I think he's starting to realize just how alone he is in this whole post-royal life thing. As the fallout from the EPSY Awards debacle continues to reverberate, 
Harry and his team will no doubt be scrambling to devise a new strategy to regain the public's attention. Perhaps a high-profile interview, or a major philanthropic initiative, or even a foray into the world of politics. But the reality is, the prince may be fighting an uphill battle. As the world increasingly turns its attention to newer, more captivating personalities and causes. Harry had his moment in the sun, but that moment has passed, said royal biographer Penny Junner. He's going to have to work incredibly hard to recapture that spotlight, and even then, he may never reach the levels of adulation and relevance that he once enjoyed. It's a tough road ahead for him, and I'm not sure he's fully prepared for the challenges that lie in store. For now, the once beloved prince finds himself in an unenviable position a has-been struggling to remain relevant in a world that seems to have moved on without him. The EPSY Awards fiasco was just the latest in a series of public humiliations, and one can only wonder how much more rejection and indifference Harry can endure before he's forced to confront the harsh reality of his diminished status.